bring it back 2013 On the porch throwing rocks at dope fiends Hot box in the crib, you remember where we lived Cause you used to be a girl like protein Dylan was dead, Joey was dead, Jerm was dead R.I.P. Roger man, life ain't fair You ain't got no pay, we ain't got no care Was way upstairs, remember we all G all Cause back then you ain't even know who we were Now you on my feet, nice nigga Yeah, we here Street Soldier Saturdays, y'all know what's going on the platform for the city, for the state, trying to bring everybody together and push this Michigan, this Grand Rapids thing forward, you know what I mean? Head DBIC in the back on the ones and twos, OG, Ozilla over there, you see what's going on. Special yeah. guest host in the building, Ajax Stacks, man, y'all see what's going on, man? Yo, I'm going to start this show with, a. Hey. you know, we went a little, uh, I ain't even going to say viral, we just had a couple, um... Uh, comments and um, little tags and posts. You know they was resharing. The, um, I don't know if you watched the show. Which one? This, oh, this show. show. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I caught up. We we uh we, we just great. had a um little uh what debate happened? about the old heads rapping. You know what I'm saying? How I said oh. the old niggas need to give it up and shit. You know yeah. what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, I saw that. I'm sleeping. Yeah. Went crazy. You talking about uh, LL Cool J? And yeah, 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 yeah. I'm talking yeah. about. He, he, I'm them. talking about local. He talking oh, about local the, He called them regular 40. Regular 40, yeah, that went crazy. That's new. I, I didn't mean just local 40. here. I meant local, <laughs> global. If you ain't already. On. Yeah, yeah, a couple of people. <laughs> Somebody tagged or replied to the story. I wish I would have saved your um. Cause you ain't one of our people, so I ain't got. Yeah, I wish I would have saved your information so I could have told people to at you or at you. He said, what's the difference between, um, I'm going to let get y'all y'all input if y'all want to put y'all input. He said, what's the difference between a local, I can't get it, let me get it right. What's the difference between like a local nigga rapping trying to be 40, that's 40, trying to get on, and a 40-year-old podcaster that's trying to get on? Yeah, same shit. Yeah, no, it's totally different. I Bro, said- uh, That's what you told him? No, I didn't even reply. I said I was going to reply on the show. Am no. I- you know what I mean? Y'all get y'all if y'all, you know what I'm saying? I think it's totally different between what we trying to do and what a rapper trying to do, get on. We can go two, three, four different total avenues. And I don't believe it's an age limit with what we doing. There are several different podcasters, uh, radio hosts, all that that got on at that age, not old, I mean, not young, trying to get on. You know what I'm saying? It's it's like a different, it's a whole total different lane with what we trying to do. We didn't want to get grouped. Well, I didn't want to get grouped into the podcast lane anyway. I wanted to get grouped into like, you know, we wanted to bring like a real like show online radio type shit. You know what I'm saying? And we trying to get like syndicated, even if we work with our partners over there at Aux 33, start our own little thing, our own little show. Like, I don't feel like you too old to get into radio and broadcasting, you know, local music and putting an eye on the city. That's what, what we what's trying the, to do. What's the difference then, like you saying, uh, we ain't going to spend too much time on it, but uh, what's the difference, man, um, like, because uh, motherfuckers was like... About the forty year old regular forty, as you say, in in the hood trying to get on, but but the motherfuckers that's trying to get on been rapping. They've been rapping for so many years, but probably never made it to that next level. But what's it? They was like, what's the difference then? Like like you still playing basketball? Cause that, I do it for the love. I do it for the fun. I ain't it's doing, the same thing. What no, about if them? they doing it for the love and doing it for the fun, you wouldn't be telling niggas to go stream my new project and then get mad when niggas don't support your shit. You wouldn't still so be it, booking for shows for so and trying to fun. get money. No, you trying to get on, my boy. You trying to get in the yeah, industry. Trying. Trying don't try to say you're not trying to get in the industry. Yeah. But at the same time, I feel like at least because shit, I'm I'm. Handful away from there too, this but, I, but I got motion, so it's a difference. That's but, exact because. But at the same time, I feel like just as a human being, as a man, it, it, you coming of age like that, you you of that age, you, you tapping on forty or you there. I think you can do whatever you want to as long as you handling your business too. Yeah. Now if you some bummo and you, and you behind on your bills, you're not taking care of your responsibilities, and you running around trying to be a rapper. That's your motherfucking problem. Cause I know but a lot you, of I know a lot of people shit, forty years old. Yeah, because they tried to. Uh, they, yeah, they tried. Uh, yeah, they said. Um, slapping. They said they tried to say some like six men. They mentioned six men, and I'm like, wait a minute. He moved. 
Exactly. Ooh. I'm like, man, that's all he do is rap. He's the fact not you talking about him and bringing He's his name not part time rap. Yeah. He wouldn't take offense to me saying that because he know he's not in that category. Right. He doesn't wake up and go punch a clock nine to five and then get off and go rap when you you know, he's been in Germany, Europe. He right. be booked. He just came back and did a whole Michigan so, tour. So six put men Michigan don't even, six men don't even fall in that, that category. category. He's, He's a, been man, popping with y'all talking with, about. With, How can you even? With all y'all know who six need to is. give it up. Yeah. Nigga, not just around here. I wasn't even talking about niggas around here. Niggas just happened to mention niggas mention around niggas here. Names and shit. Yeah. I was talking about globally. But you know how rough the shoe fit? They gonna wear it? Yeah. yeah. So. so. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's a touchy, touchy situation, yeah. you know, because it's a lot of people in that age bracket rapping and shit. But a lot of motherfuckers got, got a little motion, though. I can't front. Yeah. You know, it's all about, uh, I, I, like, it's levels to this shit. It's little motion. It's big motion. Right. You know what I mean? It's mid motion. But the key word is motion. It's, it, you know? And but I understand if you still punching the clock. You and, 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 and you know it's a little different, man. These yeah, days, but we on twenty twenty five. Anybody could do something tomorrow. Yeah, and it go crazy, go stupid. So I'm gonna reiterate. <laughs> we I'm an advocate of word. as long as you handling your business, do whatever yeah. you want to do. Yeah. Really? That's know. where I'm at with you don't it. Never know. Yeah, I don't and, put an age bracket on too much shit. You know what yeah, I mean? And but I wasn't it's telling, certain I'm things not, that you yeah. got. Yeah. That, but that there got, are some people. It's certain things that got age brackets to my personal opinion. But that's 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 city of personal opinion. Go ahead. Your thing. Me, I'm an old head. I'm with it. Yeah, whatever you want to do. Yeah, yeah. That's just my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, tap on it because it it uh, it had a lot of uh. uh, No, that I the reason I tapped on that comment because it kind of made sense. Right. If you know who the fuck you is, it shouldn't. If you offended by that, you getting flushed. I don't know who was on that shit. So no shot at them personally. But if just in general, if you getting flustered by that comment, you probably shouldn't be rapping. Period. Cause yeah. it's, it's not like Word. You, your skin ain't thick. Like I said, if you know you the shit, shit man, you be right, like, I, I'll be like, yeah, I don't fall in that category. That's a fact. Else. That's a you fact. That's I mean? a fact. I just wanted to touch on that one because that comment, I like that comment. It wasn't like I took offense to it or nothing like that. I like that comment. That was a, a, you know what I'm saying. That was a great comment. Yeah, like he was trying to send it. You know what I'm saying. But you know, yeah. yeah. Ajax stacks in the building, man, with the street soldiers, man. What's going on? How you get the name? Ajax Stacks, uh, well, my, my government is uh, Avery Jackson. So oh, that's okay. Where I got the Ajax. Yep. Um, and then the Stacks, it came from, it actually used get to be. Get that money. I mean, ironically, I mean, yeah, it came that way, but <laughs> that's not how it originated. Um, it was, I used to play soccer back in high school, and and my, my coach knew that they would call me Ajax. And so he, he they started calling me Ajax 3000. Mm. Um, off of Andre three thousand, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah, because I went to uh, I went to Catholic Central, mm-hmm. so we had the dress code back then. So I would figure out ways to kind of like look, you know, different within the dress code with the yeah. colors and the styles and yeah. shit like that. So they'd be like, "Oh, you want some Andre three thousand? That's funny. Shit. That's funny." And so they used to call me Ajax three thousand, and then that was when that 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 transition yeah. happened. They started calling them three stacks, stacks three, three stacks. stacks. Yeah, so okay. They, yeah. So hey, that's was, I like was, that though. Yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't lie. I like that. Three stacks for a minute. Then I started like rapping, rapping. I was like, let me drop that. Three. Yeah, that name. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, yeah I, like I, li- I, li- I like. I like. I like that. You know, I like, I like the creativity yeah. of the name. The you know, because I like it when it go with your name. Yeah. You know? How long you been? How long you been doing this thing? I've been on your music for a minute. You know, I know you. I, you know, what I mean, but for the people who tuned in, I've been. On you since like what that what was them videos you was riding around in that old Bentley and shit man oh, you know what I mean like, never do shit yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying the Bentley on the bricks yeah that who shit was wild. who Bentley was that uh, we got that from a dealership Word. yeah we hit up the dealership they mm. were selling that boy I think it was one of them 28th Street like yeah 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 Get Yo. you up in there. Yeah. Um, and we, I sent them an email, saw that they had that shit. Because I, I said something about rap, something about fly like fly like a Bentley B. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. The B with it. the wings said, on you know, it. Yeah. I would be ill if we could get a Bentley in the video with the wind and the thing. And so I went and Google searched it, found one for sale here, hit them up, did my little corporate talk. was like, yeah, yeah sponsorship, blah, blah, blah. You know, I put the link of, of the set because they trying to sell them. Yeah, like, how many yeah. people really just going to buy a Bentley? Yeah, here yeah for sure. 
And so I put the link, I told them we'll put the link in the video. We'll kind of promote the video and and they, they went for it. I, I was kind of surprised. I said, shit. So, but that's they, ill. We yeah. should have had you broker this little deal oh, for shit. us. We was trying to do oh, these yeah. motherfuckers, man. They ain't want to hook us up, man. Oh, yeah. I do it. Shit, never too late. What's up? Yeah, you look like you played a part. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah you showed him. Look like you, you, you show got me with the soccer player. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, show, yeah. you don't look like a soccer player. Yeah, I ain't player. see that. Hey, yeah, soccer fun though. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's gonna come up too now too. Now it's yeah. good business. Yeah, that shit yeah. crazy. That shit you know crazy. I mean? And I actually do a. Um, I run a. Um, uh, a soccer brand with my man's a part of it. It's called the Soccer Rebellion. Oh, okay. Um, and so it's like it's yeah, like talk M, about it's that one for soccer. Mm. And so it's street soccer. We play. Oh, yeah. It's on. It's on like courts and shit. On yeah. cement courts. Uh, I don't know if you seen them. Oh, they out there doing the moves oh, yeah. and shit. Yeah. Like, I never I, really I, seen I, soccer on a, on a. It's five on, a, on a, five. Like you doing flare down, moves. Down. What it's called? Street soccer. It's it's called street soccer. It's called futsal. Is really what they call it. Uh -huh. um, but it's street soccer. Yeah. That's and crazy. So we, we got no refs. You call your own calls. We got sponsored teams. That is wild. Uh, we actually. I'm gonna do a plug if y'all don't mind. We Go do it. We do October 26th. We're going to be down there. It's called Las Canchas. It's okay. those courts. I don't know if you've seen them down yeah, there on yeah, Seward, yeah, behind yeah, the downtown. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking uh, about. Mm -hmm. they got, so the city made courts for us. To get, that's how legit we was doing it. We was doing it up there in, in the Heights, oh. playing over on Burton, and they saw us making that movement, oh, picking it up. Dope. They, they that's dope. They redid that whole parking lot, put up courts for us and everything. So we've been down there balling for a couple years now. Uh, but we got, uh, it's called a takeover tour. So mm -hmm. we go to each city. Just like N one used to do, we used to go to ECD, yeah. get all the ballers, give away a couple thousand dollars to the winners, get yeah. Dick Sporting Goods sponsor, Nike sponsorship. So at the end of the whole tour, we yeah, do see, like that's a big shit right that's there. Big shit right there. We bring them. So I like that. This year we're bringing them up to Grand Rapids. We bringing Nike in. We putting big money up, five thousand dollars. Oh yeah, you're going. Y'all going to have to bring. Y'all going to have to bring us in so we can interview we some of them people. We going to fuck with you. We got some shit So we can interview the winners. Get the street soldiers in there. Yeah, we're going to. Yeah. Yeah, I know some soccer players in the streets. Yeah, that's right. For sure. For sure. I used to play soccer. I was cold. Yo, y'all know what it is. Street Soldier Saturdays, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> OZ said he was killing them out there. He was, what's the dog name? Was Messi. He was soccer. out there like that. Yeah, yeah man. Y'all know what it is. Street Soldier Saturdays, man. The platform for the city, for the state. All that. We trying to bring everybody together, but we can't do it without y'all help. So if y'all watching it, watching it this far, go tell your people, tell your friends, anybody who watch YouTube or whatever, Facebook clips, wherever you seen this at, yo, go tell your people. Subscribe to Street Soldier Saturdays on YouTube. Yo, we about to go to a break real quick, play one of these fire videos from somebody around the city, somebody around the state or something. Then we going to come back, kick more shit with Ajax Stacks. You know what I'm saying? Street Soldier Saturdays. Get with us. Stacks. TikTok too is once you go viral, you gotta keep that momentum. You gotta do a part two. They wanna learn. Me and Block more. was that's, just having this conversation. Right these I days. didn't know that at the time though. So I have I had the video in my in my um TikTok is in my work. phone for months, months. You just chilling, whatever, never posted. And then I, I was like, you know what I mean? Put this on TikTok, it's kinda funny. That bitch sitting at like three million views right now on TikTok. My shit was going wow. crazy. And, and, yeah, I think and, my wife has like a million views yeah. or something right now on some shit. She's yeah. going crazy. So you could nowadays I feel like going viral ain't what it used to be. Like mm -hmm. right when going viral started to come thing? out, like you could do some things going viral. Yeah. You could really change some things. Nowadays, I feel like it's a million people going viral I, every day. So I feel like good, it ain't but... it's only important if you already monetized on yeah. any platform you got going. If you just yeah. go viral to go viral. Now what? You got to right. get the money now. You got to learn how to capitalize. You know what I'm saying? You might go viral and you That's going true. viral enable you to get monetized, but now yeah. you monetized on these platforms. Now what you going to do? Right. You know, you got to keep 
that momentum, as you say. Yep. So you know, and that's the misconception. People think, oh, I'm going viral. I'm on, mm -hmm. or, or they be talking the price went up, or this yeah. or that. Like you gonna make some huge <laughs> move. I'm gonna get signed. Nah, yeah, you gotta. That's, that's that's a good thing that you went viral. That means you got some. That means you're doing something right. Mm -hmm. But you gotta keep doing that. You gotta keep the consistency up because it's it's not it's not gonna last for long too much longer. You gotta keep that momentum going. Absolutely. Or how long you been rapping? I had asked you that, but we got all topic. Oh we yeah, gotta talk about that um, Bentley. <laughs> It's been a it's been a minute. Um, I probably really started like professionally rapping. Or I say I did my first show in East Town at Billy's. I want to say 2010, 2011. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's been a good like decade and a half now. I mean, word, word. Things. Why you still yeah. got the passion to keep going, dropping music, um, shit like that? This is what I love to do. Word. So, so I never started it thinking like. I probably started it right before every like you know how people say oh you a SoundCloud rapper that mm -hmm. almost that almost that phrase almost gone now I feel like people mm -hmm. don't say that too much but I started right rapping right before they came out with that oh mm -hmm. a SoundCloud rap mm -hmm. SoundCloud rapper when everybody wanted to be a rapper this and that I probably started right before that so when I started rapping it was literally just something that I discovered and I did it late kind of stereotypically late in my 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 life. I started what, like 20 something. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of cats start 15, 14, yeah. 10. Yeah. They, you know, they'd be like, oh, I wrote right, my right. first rap when I was five. Like, yeah, I, mean, I never grew up wanting to be no rapper. Right. You know, it kind of just came to me in my 20s, early 20s. And even then, though, it wasn't on no, oh, I want to blow up. I want to get rich. I want to do this. It you was just, just doing really, that I was like, this shit, was, this shit is dope. I can express myself. I can, you know, it's therapeutic. I can do this. I can do that. And then it grew into all those other things. So I asked myself if I wasn't, you know, if I'm working this or I'm doing that, what, what what would I do on my time off if I got time to myself? Oh, yeah. I rap. <laughs> mm -hmm. So now that I rap, rap, you know, if I take a break, ain't no breaks. Because what do I do when I used to take breaks? Oh, I rap. So, mm -hmm. okay, let me just rap some more. And, and right. then, you know, now I found passions in shooting music videos and I record myself so I can audio engineer. I found other passions inside my passion. So, yeah. all that shit just keep me going. That's, that's, that's what that's I want to do. What was your first passion since you said you didn't um, want to be a rapper? What was your first passion? I, I used to be in the soccer like that. Oh, you yeah, was I wasn't a good, I wasn't a good student, so I I went to community college for a little bit yeah. and this and that. But if I my grades and my shit was right, yeah, I could have played D one. I could have you know that did some thing. Oh yeah, so okay. mm -hmm. that's crazy how the world works. Now I'm full circle. Now I get to do the stuff with the soccer rebellion. I get to rap, yeah. street mm -hmm. culture, and do soccer all in one. So, yeah, that's ill. Yeah, it's, it's yeah that's crazy. Meant to be. Where you get your style from? You know, because you kind of uh, kind of different. My rap style. <laughs> mm hmm. Um, With like what you was influenced by coming up, like musically. Shit, I, I listen to everything. So I give a lot of props to my moms. She, uh, neither of my parents are from Michigan, so I feel like that kind of just gives me a different steez in general. Mm -hmm. uh, but my mom, she's from upstate New York, so she's a real like. I don't like to say hippie because nowadays people think hippie isn't like a hipster mm -hmm. or like the flowers around that shit piece. But she was like a, a real, real hippie. Like Woodstock was in her backyard, so she went to the original Woodstock. She's into Jimi Hendrix and like all that real rock star music type shit. Mm -hmm. um, Cause I, I don't, they didn't really play any music. I don't have any like uncles or anything that play instruments or was making music that I got influenced by. I'm, I'm pretty much the only actual music maker in my family. But <coughs> as far as music love, that's where I think that comes from. And then I got an older sister. And she, you know, I remember sneaking down in the basement and seeing the little Kim poster with the lyrics spread out up on that shit. And that was everybody and, poster. Yeah, everybody. Was, yeah. That was legendary. You know, look, yeah, you know, you like, look, yeah, you that, get flashed yeah, back. That, yeah, like, that, hey, that was some shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, I want to say, didn't you have that motherfucker? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, man, you had to have that. I don't know who had, somebody had it. <laughs> yeah, I, I might have had it because I remember that one. I remember. Uh, I used I think, to have a lot of shit. So I go through her CDs, throw shit in, and I listen to like uh, Busta Rhymes, Woo Ha. I want to say like the first mm -hmm. rap song I can really remember being mm -hmm. like, oh shit, like mm -hmm. this one shit. Yeah, uh, Fuji's that was that was always in rotation in the car because uh, you know I was I was at that age where. My, my moms, they really want me to listen to too much crazy shit, but she'd be like, all right, the Fuji's, Lauryn Hill, White Yeah, Clay, yeah, some right, singing we, involved we, we in there. We can compromise yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. They were saying some shit in that too. Yeah. So that was my first reel. Um, and then 
when I started like thinking like, oh shit, I want to rap, it's kind of like when uh, Wiz Khalifa and Big Sean and Wale and all them was starting to do their mixtape shit on that. They say Wale is supposed to be coming I here. I saw that. I don't know. I did see that. I don't know. I don't know got, like know. once again, this is the show. We ain't got no facts. You said allegedly. <laughs> you alleged. You can do your old Googles and all that because I, I just seen it. Like, damn, who promoting it? Who what? Right. Who, what? Man, this where shit. You, is, where you gonna be at? You know. Yeah, I'm. I'm lost. Probably. Uh, what's that? The uh, Twenty Men Row. Or yeah, that's it, must, it must be in, in the works. That's the go to. You know, we spot. don't know. But I did hear he working again. Mm -hmm. he, he putting shit out. So, you know what yeah. I mean. Speak about your award before we go to break. Real oh, quick. yeah. You know, I brought this. It's my little Texas steez that I got. So I lived in Austin, Texas uh, for a handful of years. Mm -hmm. I left out of here for a minute to try to take it to the next level, or I should say did take it to the next level. And they got me to, um, my mm -hmm. first year down there, I got the uh, Hustle of the Year Award. Because I brought Rapper right Stack down there, competition that yeah. I do. Who I brought it up. the other rapper on here say he was standing in Texas? Yeah, yeah, Texas yeah. to spot, huh? That's the spot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people come up out of Texas or like, just go to Texas, too. Or, mm -hmm. That's ill, man. Go down there mm -hmm. and hustle up on some shit, Yeah, man. that's my second home now. So, yeah. yeah. You be traveling back and forth all the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's ill. That's yeah. ill. Y'all know what it is, Street Soldier Saturdays, man. We still in here, man. Like I told you, like, share, subscribe, all that good shit. Leave a comment, whatever you want to, you know what I mean? Leave it down there. I'll get back with you when I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> when I see it. <laughs> you feel me? Whenever yeah. you want to leave down there. I know you. Fuck your shit. Yeah, I know you niggas is watching. You go oh, fucking. <laughs> man, streets on the Saturday. We out of here, man. Go to break. They still play me like piano, more than I can handle Took everything I had and left me standing in these sandals Put my pride up on a mantle, turned me down and flipped the channel But to pack up this white van, hit my mans like Damn Daniel, I need a room out there in Denver Apartment, condo, it's whatever Still on my head, my mind state, so I'm tripping about the weather Whether or not you got a spot, I'm out there still trying to plot I'm trading liquor for the pot, I know my pockets gon' get thicker So I promise you my nigga, no I promise you my nigga on some bodybuilder shit We gon' double up our figures We gon' break down all this weed We gon' roll us up some switches I got the product that they need And they know the price just like it's fishing But ain't no toying with it, Dan I got that blueprint, that plan Don't go coy on me, man I'm about to drive through the weekend When I pull up on you beeping Just hop in like the deep end Know my ex is still peeping So pop that hatch and let the freaks in And then just for our enjoyment We gon' make they asses twerk Know they file for unemployment But they all gon' get this work Got that drive when I go live Make that whip you and go skirt No lie when they arrive Pulling up to my concert I hear them play me like piano More than I can handle Took everything I had But now I finally got a sample Put a trophy on my mantle Turn it up, I'm on your channel About to pack up this white band Hit my mans like damn Daniel I bought a crib back home in DR Where the people know who we are Where the waves flow like seesaw But the snowfall like me tall My pass out that free fall That gas on be diesel I'm prep for my sequel I rap for my people Like we all GR With a OZ or that ATX Now we all, who knows Cause we all throwed on that 36 Could've done did back like 30 chicks Could've done did tag like 30 picks But I done did all that dirty shit Now I'm back up to resurrect the bricks Let my ego go and my pride too Had to follow suit Pack a couple shows, get him jumping without the parachute Beyond repair, but apparently I'm still paramount Had to grow a pair, but it's nuts to me There's a fair amount that play me like piano more than I can handle Took everything I had and left me standing in these sandals Put my pride up on a mantle Turn me down and flip the channel About to pack up this white van Hit my mans like damn Daniel, damn Daniel Damn Daniel, damn Daniel, damn Daniel Damn Daniel, damn Daniel, damn Daniel Damn Daniel, damn Daniel, damn Damn Daniel, back at it again with the white man. <laughs> Man, you know, Street Soldier Saturdays, we man. We here, we back. You know, the off camera action is, hey. you know, 
with that's a whole show in itself. The shit that right. be off the seas, yo, man. I'm telling you, man. Speak on uh, Push the City Cipher. You was on there. Did you get yeah. the call back as would... an all star or, or? Uh, no. Do you but know how it was went? Your your, was your name on there? Yes, but, but see, cause I'm I'm cool with Ruben. I'm yeah. cool with Lady Ace, and, and not to like separate or do anything or level you know levels to this shit. But it is levels to this shit. Most definitely. And a lot of it's business too. You know what I mean? Yeah. At the end of the day, so I'm a part. Those are my business partners yeah. in a sense. You know what I mean? Mm. And it's no knock to no other artists or or to anybody in that sense. But I know how the shit work. So. I already had a conversation months, months, months ago, because I was on. A, I think, don't quote me, because I might be wrong, but I think it was the first Push the City cipher. Allegedly, I, allegedly, I was on the first one, and then they was doing the the joint, the the one that you y'all had playing at uh, what's that venue called over at Studio Park, and I seen they were doing that, so I hit up my homie and my business partners and was like, "Yo, I want to get on that," yeah. <laughs> and it was like, "Well, shit." We can get you on that, but we're going to do an all-star one later, too. So mm-hmm. we was thinking about getting you on it. It's before they even really came mm-hmm. to fruition about no all-star. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, that's cool, but I want to do that one. So it was kind of in that moment was like, which one you want to do? Because mm-hmm. we ain't going to have you on here three times now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, type thing. Word, so, word, word. So no, I didn't get picked for it, but I, you know, that's that's their thing. And, and I knew I wasn't going to get picked for it because I, I kind of had already chose my path to... I want my second one to be at this studio. Did you know how the voting went and how the shit um, went? Was it voting or was it just Ruben no, and Hampton? No, it wasn't because I seen y'all talking about it yeah. uh, on the yeah. other episode. Too, I, I when seen I was a post in. where they said they was going to yeah. uh, have people tag and. Um, so they, I think I think they probably did that um, just on some like marketing type shit to get it get her get the post going, get awareness for it, get everybody tagging mm-hmm. and build up the hype for it. Yeah. But I think they always promoted that they were going to be the two select. Thing, mm. who the all star was, and oh, then okay. I and then after I seen y'all talk about it, mm-hmm. I was I was like, yeah, I wonder too exactly because yeah, that's mm-hmm. just kind of what I seen, but I didn't look into it. So I actually looked into it after y'all y'all yeah. talked about it, and I went back on uh, Street Soldiers. Page. Get down to that bo- yeah. bottom of that information. Oh, we man. got the info. The fuck? Yeah, we get to that info. <laughs> and so uh, I went because I'm I'm Mr. Info. I you know if I I don't talk unless I'm pretty sure I'm right. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm not, I'm real quiet if I don't know know the answers, but. Yeah. Uh, so that's why I do a lot I'm of Mr. Allegedly. Of you know, he said, fuck it. Yeah, I'm Mr. Allegedly, man. I heard. <laughs> hey, man. but you sparked the researcher. You yeah, sparked me to be like, let me go find that answer. Somebody. I right, tell y'all right, all the time. Right. Do your own research. Right. Come back to yep, me with the answer. Say, I, I said, that. leave it in the comments. And that's exactly what I did. So I don't know. I went back on Boogie's page and, and sure enough, they had the explanation of who they, how they picked the people they did. And it was just a mixture of like people who had good experiences in business with them. You know, people who was showing up on time that that act professional, doing their thing, that was promoting their their content that they capture, and basically just all the things that you would want out of somebody that you picking to be an all star. You know, you got a little buzz and this and that, but then also I guess it was like some some mixture of people that artists that get, got given the opportunity and then they they had some type of emergency or something and couldn't be a part of it. So then this was their chance to like, okay, let me get them back in the game and and, and get them the chance that they kind of got robbed from in mm. the first place to get them some shine. So I think it was a mixture of all these things. And it was like, oh, this is... And I think at first it was supposed to be 12. Then they were like, 12 is too hard. Let's do 16. Let's do this. Let's do that. So I know both of them. And I know that they show nothing but love to, yeah. to the scene and to the artists. And it's a hard job. I mean, as much as they put it on themselves... It's a hard job that they put on themselves to create an all-star list in Grand Rapids like that. And they knew it was going to come. They knew mm-hmm. people was going to I was going to say, shit. how you yeah, feel about yeah, the they, uh, they knew, controversy? They knew it was going to uh, ruffle some feathers. Yeah, of course. How you feel about all the controversy surrounding it? Or you just... I, I stay out of it. You know, I understand how artists feel, but you're supposed to use that as motivation. Like, yeah. what you writing on the book for? Go write in your, your rhyme book. Go write in your phone. Go, go to the studio. Talk your shit about that. Like I said, I know those two individuals very well. And even the people that talk shit about their shit, they still want what's best for you. And they tell you the same thing. Like, what you telling me for? What you mad at me for? If mm-hmm. you're going to be mad at me, go make a song about it. You know, mm-hmm. go talk your shit on there. Go make something out of it. That's going, that's at least going to shine some light on how you actually feel and what you're doing. If you feel you should, you got robbed, go tell us about it through a song. Where? For Use her. it as content. Yeah. That's yeah. how I feel, at least. I hear you. Yeah, that's dope. What you feel about, I mean, explain that, um... 
That collab you got with uh, what's dog name? Speed Gang. Oh, Speed Gang. That's kind of different. Yeah. I see y'all yeah. got the song, and then I did. I seen y'all had sold out the intersection. It was just yep. you and him, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah, I seen a little footage yep. from that. That shit looked crazy. It looked yeah. like a lot of people came out that shit. Shout out to my man Chad over there that does. Uh, he was doing promoting. I think he just started doing talent buying over there too. Shout but, out Chad. Uh, you promoted the shit out at, that at month. The intersection. I don't know if he necessarily promoted that show, but he's oh, okay. he's the one that like you know lists off all the all the yeah. shows and what's going on over there. He works with them hand in hand, but I seen a post that he made, and he got it as like one of them pinned ones at the top. Mm -hmm. And what he does is he updates it every single time a show sells out, so you can go look at it. You can go see all the shows for the year that sold out at the intersection. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at that list a month or so ago, and I commented on there. I seen them. It's probably like forty shows on there that sold out at the intersection. I said, "Yo, how many of them are local artists?" That's on. He said one. Mm -hmm. he, you know, he didn't want to say, oh, yours, but he said yeah. one. I said, oh, okay, because, yeah, Speed Game from Grand Rapids. I'm obviously from Grand Rapids, and uh, the three other openers on that show were from Grand Rapids, too. So it was the only show this year at uh, the intersection that sold out that had nothing but Grand Rapids artists on it. That's dope. Um, so that was dope. But, yeah, Speed Game, he cool. He got his own, you know, I'm sure you tapped in, heard mm -hmm. a little bit. He yeah, got his yeah. own steez, his own thing. and. And the peoples is loving it. He got a stupid online. What uh, side of town is he from? It looked like um, he's from the southeast side of town. No, he that's no because of the video. Yeah, yeah, that was that that cast and garden. That was over at the crib I used to stay because I, okay. I don't never put no shit up if I still in that yeah, spot. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah. I can't. I'm a little too grown to be moving like that, <laughs> making them mistakes. Mm -hmm. But um, nah, I uh, yeah, I used to stay over there when I moved back from Texas for okay. a couple of years. So that was that was my spot. Um, I'm like the other boys oh, over yeah. there. Yeah, no, that I was said, that, was, they, that they, was your boys. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but they, I think they on uh, the northeast side. Um, I forget what high school he went to, but um, I met them probably 2013 ish uh, over at like Louis Bar. I used mm. to be an entertainment manager over there for a little bit. That's kind of how I got into my promotional promoting steez and event curating. Mm -hmm. I was set up with a situation and I worked a deal and mm -hmm. got the apartment upstairs for being an entertainment manager. So I was living rent free, bills free, <laughs> up in that shit for, for a whole year. Oh, you was living and, a life. And oh, I was smooth with oh, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. Come on, man. I had it. <laughs> My boss look at you look at me like you wasted, you wasted that, that tuition money you yeah. on school. I didn't I ain't go nowhere with school. That's called but that's called if you ain't got a you know yeah, 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 lot of business acumen. Yeah, for sure. Y'all make it sound real good. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but then, but then I make you yeah. make make you feel like it is good too afterwards, you know, because you can mm -hmm. you can only go so far just talking your shit. You gotta absolutely actually come through with the shit too. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, at the time I was you know freestyling that deal, and um, they had the bartenders that worked there. They had them living in the basement apartment, and so they would have parties and shit afterwards. I had people over upstairs after the club nights and shit, and so that's how I met him. He was just DJing back in the day. And it probably took a good ten years before I was like, "All right, let's let's put some work in. Let's I see you, I see you doing your thing." Because to me, at first, I'm like, "It's all right, but it ain't me." You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Keep grind. You know that conversation. Yeah, yeah, like, work, keep work. grinding, keep going. Yeah, but I know how to keep grinding. I'm, I'm gonna support you from going. over on this side. You know. Yeah. And then that's exactly what he did, and, and he made his shit pop. You know, and, and realistically, you know, his shit pop online harder than my shit do. You work. know, way harder. He, he probably harder than anybody in Grand Rapids right now. If we being real. You can go mm. look his shit up on Spotify, and them is them is real listeners, them is real things. And mm -hmm. he invited me to a show out in Lansing, uh, probably a year and a half, two years ago, and I performed out there. And I saw, I saw the real fans. I saw the people. I had conversations with the cast that was like, "We here from North Dakota. Yeah. We drove up here from from Georgia. Uh -huh. We did this." And I'm like, "Damn, Damn. <laughs> to, mm -hmm. to see that." Yeah, I said, "Okay, real. make you perform yeah. harder." Yeah, I like, said, "All right, shit, it's, he it's doing just, this is real shit. Doing it ain't, these ain't bought views. Yeah. These ain't these ain't. This is what they call hard ticket sales. Mm -hmm. This is real dollars. This is real merch sales. This mm -hmm. is real fans." So I said, "Yeah, let's. You earned it. That's what I respect. Is somebody who can go out and get it. I don't care." It, it, you know, at the end of the day, art is an opinion. Yeah. You know what I mean? And everybody got their opinions, but the facts come in the sales, the facts come in the ticket sales, the merch sales, the, yeah. all that shit. So he had the facts, he had the data. I said, let's go. Word. You know, we made a banger. Word. You a sports fan? Yeah, I fuck with it, especially right now, football. Yeah, yeah. I'm just about yeah. to say, I'm sleep on football. Yeah, I just no, seen that the sports, 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 sports
Lions, of course. Okay, but then I also Lions, fuck with the Bills. Uh, yeah, I know. fuck with Josh Allen and the Bills too. Okay. On the, on the other on the other kind. Yeah, I like the Lions too, but my team is Steelers. Steelers, I, okay. I, I've I'm, just seen I'm the sports betting fan. dude made over three million just this season on sports betting. I'm oh, like, yeah. is this is, is he a real, for real. real fucker? They be, he already got money though. Yeah, yeah. you know because yeah, the, sure. because you know you got to bet it. The football betting ain't like the basketball yeah. betting. Yep. Like you can make that in basketball quick. Like if you making that shit in football betting, you, you know, already got paper. You bet. You, you betting crazy, crazy fifty times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah you know, could. it's just different. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, yeah, and football, I only bet in the Super Bowl. Yeah, no, that's I bet, the only I time I started playing attention around. I, uh, I play Madden. Yeah, see, that, see, real I play fan. Madden, though, so that's different. I play see, Madden now, basketball. I'm betting all seasons. So I know. All season. I know every player coming off, coming off yeah. the bench, coming off the yeah. side field. I know all the stati- I know the injuries and shit. You, you because you I fucking with Madden that new like man. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I bet on that too. Yeah. Hey, hey, anybody out there want to put bread up for the Madden? Holla. Yeah. Yeah, I'm what, you, what, 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 what game system? Info, what game I'm system? Well, well, you tell you, nowadays it don't matter. They got the crossover. Yeah, yeah. So you can have. X. I'm on that. PlayStation. Yeah. I'm on the five. Yeah, the crossover is let you play with the, uh, yeah, Xbox. On the X, right? Yeah. So yeah. now, how do you, you get so that? Though? Xbox, I'm you, sleep. you ain't got no excuse. I ain't even gonna lie, cause somebody asked. You us just cause... asked for it, right? Yeah. You just asked for it. There's only certain games you can do that on. Yeah, probably. It ain't. It ain't every game. Oh, okay. Yeah, but my shit is Ajax Stacks, just how you spell it. So mm-hmm. holler at me, send me an invite. Send me, but you got to know somebody too, because I don't, I play for at least $50 a game. Yeah. Man, minimum. Y'all yeah. hear him now. Yeah. Shit, man. So, you got look at that camera. Yeah. $50. I mean, that's just serious. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm that shit. I know. I, I came up with people. They they used to be playing $100 a game, yeah, $200, $300 yeah. a game. Yeah, and, yeah it get, it get know, like so that. So I know if, mm-hmm. I, if, he, if you saying $50, I, I believe it. Yeah, I you know always I mean? been because trash at football minimum. games. I'm I like, I used to be like, what y'all playing for 300 Oh, man, y'all bugging oh, out. But serious. you know, it's serious. Oh, and they'll be mad. Oh, yeah. You know, motherfuckers really be mad. What team you playing with? Oh, yeah. Your team for real? See, now, now, you ain't playing with so, the Lions. So this is how you This how you know I really get down. So what we do is we do three randoms. Oh, okay. So we, we, we link yep, up with yep. somebody. You get oh, three, that's you get three okay. Yeah, you randoms. really you really playing? Yeah. Yeah. So you yeah. can't even play with your team. No, I mean I I set it up that way if that's what you got to do. But no, the way but we I'm play, saying, yeah, the way yeah, we play, yeah. you get three. It was a, the 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 left trigger. You get three taps. You one, two, three, and then and if you don't like that, none of them, you could do what we call a suicide. And so you get one more, but that because then you can pick between them three. But if you mm-hmm. do that suicide, you gotta play with whoever. Oh, you but land you gotta on. pick between. Them you can three, pick though. between those three. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's, that's how pretty cool. Yeah. I'll be with that. Yeah. I'll be with that. You but, know that's, what I'm saying. Ah. that's how I know now. You do that so many times. I mean, times if I'm so nice, I'm bread. with that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because most of the teams be, you know, it's all right. about. You know mm-hmm. who the players are. You gotta, yep. you know, because when it's like that, you gotta work the player. You mm-hmm. might not play like the team. Yeah, but it's about balance this season. Like a lot of teams is good. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that's it's what I'm saying. A lot of teams is good. Man, so you see like, how quick that 2K25 came out. Too man. fast. Too fast. Yeah, son, too fast. Man, too fast. yo. Too 2K, fast. you all out of pocket. Way out of pocket. I'm just not making uh, it to the playoff. Dog, I just seen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, the old one, man. I just seen, I don't know, they getting ridiculous with this AI. You be seeing all this AI shit? Oh, yeah. Where you a supporter you of the AI? You don't like AI. It depends to an extent, right? It, it's Because I mean, it's cool when you asking the AI could, shit. Yeah, Yo, you what's, could talk, da, 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 you da, da, could talk da, da, all day about AI and there's so many layers to it, but I, my, my thing, my biggest thing, I fuck with AI. AI I, been around, at, Especially when it comes to the music shit. Up. A lot of people talking about, oh, AI going to replace this. Then. That's not true. What's going to happen is an artist that uses AI to mm-hmm. help they shit, to boost their shit, or to market better, or to come up with song concepts or whatever, mm-hmm. that motherfucker going to take your job. That motherfucker going to outshine you. The AI itself, you just tell an AI to make this song, the shit gonna sound ABC. Man, it's gonna sound well, you well, can't even tell what's real no more. Well, I seen like, the motherfucker. Do you like what Siegel said he was what trying to do with the AI? What'd I he think do? he done. I think what he said. He done it, now. He ain't about to do it now. He said he was gonna uh, use the AI to sound like it. Allegedly. Uh-huh. Yeah, this he was is alleged. Gonna, uh, use Brandy the AI Siegel. to make him sound like his old voice when he when he rap now. Cause uh, you know what I'm saying. So, I mean, I believe that. 
It's it's. I was it, like, that can happen easily. I art, think that's a check. That's a sign. Or it's something. artists to- in different genres, like the EDM world and, and the pop world or whatever. Especially right when that shit popped off, for real, for real. They they license their voice for anybody to use, use it. it. Yeah. Write lyrics for them, use their voice, and put music out, and then they get like fifty percent of the royalties. Yeah. Why, why you think everybody's selling their catalog right now? Like Eve just exactly. sold her catalog exactly. for fifty million. Yep. My fucks need that paper. It ain't gonna really 50. matter as much as it used to. It ain't gonna be you as exclusive so? as they now because of the AI shit. Because eventually, so that was a good move for Eve, huh? Yeah, especially I mean, at her age yeah, to sell her catalog way, yeah. right now. Yeah, for artists like Eve, because Eve ain't gonna get no bigger. And allegedly, Nowadays, allegedly, she got fifty million. She might have another moment. No, I know more. she ain't gonna she, get she no might bigger, have but I'm thinking and be, like and be super popping for like a month, yeah. but she ain't never gonna be bigger. But than I'm, she is, but do, so. but when you sell your catalog, you don't still get residuals from that shit. Like when your shit no, get played in movies you sell and shit like over, that. That's what I'm saying. That, Do you but, still... Right. No, in the long no, run, the, no. you don't think it's worth it? It depends. It, it depends, depends who you are and what you're doing and, and where you see your vision. Because, yeah, no cap, I, I, don't might, really, I don't really like, hear no Wayne Eve. Because what, 100 might, million for his shit, some right? Other business Allegedly. She's trying to pop off. She might yeah. even try to invest in the, like, the next Tesla. And that was a few and years like, let ago. Let me sell this. Let me get this Think bread up so hundred? I can invest and in this. And to think about it, thing. you don't really hear no Eve songs and right. no movies or no like no Fast and Furious. You about to. You about to start hearing now like X. You hear X. Who that girl? That's about to be everywhere. Now, yeah, yeah, in all these little yeah. women movies, yeah. shit, say, Eve got some yeah. shit. She gonna be like, Look at these motherfuckers. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> yeah, that shit about to be <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, Eve, man. Shout yeah, out yeah. Eve. Get the money. Yeah, Said T.I. T- 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 his wife just got that. That uh seventy million lawsuit back on celebrity I was gonna say, don't news. Don't tell me he sold his catalog. No, nah, they got no, a lawsuit story. for seventy. Oh, yeah, you remember won. that? Uh, remember that group that they had um, with their daughter in it. Mm-hmm. T- I, uh, I can't remember the name. OMG Girls, I believe it was. <laughs> once again, this well, is a show. It's seventy one million. Yeah, once again, we ain't got all the facts and information, but uh, the the toy company had allegedly stole their likeness and made some dolls and shit like that. Put the dolls yep, out. Yep, it was the MGA. Yep. Yep. The when, MGA. The, and when the judge see the dolls, the judge like, oh, hell yeah, y'all stole that shit, man. Wait, he about to waste no more time on this shit. Yeah, y'all did. Let me see the picture of the girls. Yep. Look at this doll. Oh, hell yeah, man. What y'all? 70, man. Y'all been making money for years, man. Y'all got it. 71. But like when they win that, do they get the money? Instantly, yeah. How that go? It's probably, I, it's probably I don't an individual, know. whatever they they negotiate. Because I they don't understand negotiate. lawsuits anyway. Oh, call me. Five, you you've been sued before? No. Call me naive. Call me green. Call me uneducated. Whatever you want to call me, but I don't understand lawsuits. Like if you take me to court to sue me, mm-hmm. and you win the lawsuit for a hundred bands, I don't have a hundred bands to give you. So what are we gonna do? Judgment for whoever. Yeah, how the fuck I'm gonna give you the hundred well, Because you do you just garnish everything yeah. I make little, from now on money? until I make a hundred? Yeah. You get your yeah. shit paid off. Yeah. Everything I make go to this motherfucker to yeah, get the hundred bands. From that, com- from it's that not, company, it's not everything, but it's just like they do if you got like rear seventy one million on child support or something. They got yeah, a, explain a it certain to your like boy. percentage they allowed to take. Like okay, I never understood how we gonna get that. We don't get that. I see motherfuckers get sued all the time. How the fuck you gonna get that bread? That nigga ain't got no bread. You'll because a, like I've been, I've bill. been sued, <laughs> and, and I was young. Every every tax return you get, every check you make on on paper, might as well not even file no taxes because you already know what time it is. <laughs> but still, I asked that question yeah. because I've been sued before for um I I sprayed a motherfucker with a fire extinguisher. <laughs> they sued us, right? So what you know, I'm, for? I'm young. Damages, I, damages, just hospital crazy. bills, shit yeah. like that, right? <laughs> a lot of I see, but I'm scared. And, Travel. And, and Is like, a white person? <laughs> no, the person went blind Black in my nigga. eye or something for a little while, some shit like that. But um, I had a broke hand, and they was trying to rush me at the time. We was in school. I picked the fire extinguisher up and sprayed them. My mom, they sued me, but I'm young, so mm-hmm. they my mom had to pay the shit, right? So it's like. How you gonna get the money? Like yeah. my mom ain't had that shit. It took like time for my mom to pay that shit. Yeah. So that like that's a lot of money, even though I know they dealing with a company. Yeah. So I'm like, how that go? Oh, that company got that bread. Somebody got it. Go get the 
Yeah, you know, I was just asking because I'm like, okay, 50 we right want now, we're gonna hit you with some acreage or something. Like, we want that's 71 million. Been. Like, do we get the millions right then? Like, that's the company, do they drain the company? Dog, I would have been. Do we own the company? Do we take over the company? As soon as we walk out the courthouse, I'm like, yo, what's up? What's happening? Where we at? I'm just asking because you heard what he said. Where we at with it? What you gonna do? You got it right now? Oh, you? What you gonna do? You want me to follow you to the bank? How we doing this, cuz? No, everything you need to know. No, you got to laminate it. You got it nigga, ready. You ain't got it all. I know you got 25, 20 Here, you on you. keep this copy. I got my copy. Man, I just want to know because I'm like, do they get the whole 71 like that or do they take over the company? Yo. Shit. We about to go to break again real quick. And then we going to go right back, man. <laughs> <laughs> and talk some more Ajax stacks because you know this Patron. Yo, Patron, holla at us. I don't know who the owner or somebody. <laughs> you know what I mean? Go ahead, do your. You see how we got my boy? Yeah, do your stacks, thing. Do your it. thing, stacks. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. They gonna tap in. Yo, we be right back. Street Soldier Saturdays, man. On Elon Ave, when niggas beat you up and leave you dead on the street. A million dollars, so you ain't gotta holler. We old school, ride colors, Rigos Apollo. My name ring bells like Floyd or Coach Stokes. Gino call out, we bring the crowd out. Very scary round here, when all the lights out. Take some duck sauce shit, get punched up in your mouth. Are you dumb, nigga? Or just stupid, whatever works for you, wear it. If the shoe fits, the block never sleep, cause it's hot in the street. Put a warm coat on, you cold, we'll feel this heat. This is gun rule, most of my niggas, they stay active. Out here, stuck in the back of the trap. Get wasted, dock the bar, and catch a facelift. Poke a face on, our table is all lacing, nigga. Without though, without though. Around here, nigga, we say hondo, hondo. Hundo. Around here, nigga, we say hundo. What up, though? What up, though? Around here, nigga, we say hundo. 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 Around here, nigga, we say hundo. Say hundo. Block your shot just like my tumbo. Gumbo. Fuck with me and catch these knuckles. Predictable. Always on social media crying. Wondering why is no CDJ behind them. If you ever thought about it, was niggas like you was shady. Pointing fingers at me like I'm the one that be crazy. Six men strong. My name will live on forever. Undisputed, undefeated like Mayweather. Have you ever seen two killers that murder like this? From the same era, same time. Nice like this. Niggas think that we all motor cars in Bear City. Till you step on and shoot and the shit. Gets gritty, Wu Tang, like meth and man. I bring the pain. I outlaw. You can call me Hussein. If he bring the thunder, then I'ma bring the rain. If he Eastern, I'm Franklin. We cross just the same, motherfucker. What I do? What I do? Around here, nigga, we say Hondo, Hondo, Hondo. Around here, nigga, we say Hondo. What I do? What I do? Around here, nigga, we say hundo. Six man, you know what's up. Hundo. Hundo. Around here, nigga, we say hundo. Every place I done been to ain't nothing like home. Okay. With them D boys rock up and them customers roam. Okay. Niggas could tell that you soft by a level of tone. A bitch could tell you if you that nigga by a level of moan. Uh-huh. Little kids run the streets like it's the playground. In the early 80s, nigga, we ran the Greyhound. There was nothing to hear a pop, a clap, or a strange sound. And if you heard them things, you knew to lay down. I'm from another side where other guys don't talk so much. And if you did, you was that kid that got popped, so what? You kept your business to yourself, took your charge if you got one. Talking to them feds could cause your ass to catch a hot one. The city where I'm from where a nigga quick to ride shotgun. By the age of 15, a gun? Yeah, you got one. The city was chilly eight months out of the year. The same city where a nigga kept a birds in the rear, hundo. What I do? What I do? Around here, nigga, we say hundo. 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 Around here, nigga, we say hundo. What I do? What I do? Around here, nigga, we say hundo. 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 Around here, nigga, we say hundo.
We Not back. Like Street Soldiers, we back. Saturdays, we here. Yo. <laughs> Josh City off tap. I'm that? off that. Anejo. 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 What was you about to say? What about what? What y'all think about uh, J Lo, man? Oh, we still talking social media <laughs> news and celebrity <laughs> news. What y'all think about J Lo, man? The, still the, chasing A Rod? No, nah, she just divorced Ben. Yeah, you ain't seen her chasing A Rod. Yeah, she on A Rod. Yeah, already after the trip with the in the block. After, look, hey, and Jenny don't be bulls. I was just saying, look, they, they, they always spin the block. Yeah, <laughs> hold on, she had to get that divorce official first. Hold on, I'm at Rod. She had to Rod. Man, like, Rod, damn. Rod, you would you, you think Rod gonna wipe her back up, or he just gonna have they just gonna he have some fun? Not. Man, no, look, this what you know, know what man, I think the problem J-Lo, is, man. You know what I mean? She ain't fell off, she ain't lost her swag. No, you seen her? She she fifty something years old. She still posting the little sexy pictures on Instagram, showing you she still got ass. She, I'm like, look at her, man. She she, she, she doing what the young she, bitches uh, do. Exactly. Yeah. That's, That's why because I don't think she, she, ain't, she ain't. She ain't. Uh, she ain't she ain't mature, it ain't work out the first time. It ain't gonna work out the second she time. She ain't mature. Yeah, look, don't even say. Look, I'm, look. Yeah, you know I like J Lo. That's why I just started laughing. You hey, know what I mean? What I think about the the famous women and shit, it's only like a selected few that you know be having good relationships. It be seeming like you know what I'm saying. Listen, I be thinking they they just need to get like a regular nigga, not like a regular McDonald's working ass nigga, but they need to get like a nigga who own like a business or something or own a chain of restaurants or own like you know you gotta get you somebody a, they can control. Yeah, off the grid. No, because if a nigga got his own bread like that, I don't think you. If you got your own shit going, like say you got a construction business and you own, you got stuff. You ain't yeah, about you to straight, let it you established already. Yeah, you ain't gonna good. let her come in and control you. You still Hell gonna be nah. on equal level, but you ain't gonna be all superstar spotlight. Wooty wop. You know what I mean? I but think they but need. But you know what the problem no, is? No, because I already because I done scored the media, already. Social media and the media and the paparazzi they gonna make make that motherfucker famous. Yeah, Just yeah. because they dating him. Oh right, my god! Right. Yeah, he famous. He gonna, now. Be oh, he gonna be at his construction. He gonna be at his construction site minding his business. Next thing you know, it's gonna be paparazzi. It's gonna be all. He's gonna be reading all type of shit. Right. Man, they say I'm gonna got millions of dollars. They said I'm right. a multi billionaire. Right. Hold on, man. Right. What you he talking say, about? I ain't sign up for this. He shit. gonna be like, yo, man, I can't yeah. even fuck with Look. you, man. You got these motherfuckers on here. You just blew my spot up. And then they gonna find about about his other girlfriend. That's a fact. He gonna find out about his other fake kid and family over here. Like, damn. He gonna have. Child, he didn't even know he had. Yeah, <laughs> hey, he the blue the whole spot. That's how that works. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's, man. I mean, that's just what I be thinking. No, I'm I don't be like, thinking I'm they need like, enough. Hey, I like J Lo, but damn, she moving fast. Mm-hmm. Pew, mm-hmm. Got that divorce fine the room. Man, she it was man. already popping. She an expert at it. I don't know what she bill. Was, I don't know what bill. She <laughs> expert. She, Again, I got the paperwork right here. Lamb, she expert. Expert. <laughs> fast. Marriage, divorce. She yeah. a pro at she that. Fast. That was you know fast. Like, you know what a Rod saying? probably looking at her. What you think, A Rod? How A Rod looking at her sideways, or he looking like? No, A Rod still want some of that money. Come on, he gonna flaw. He gonna. He gonna. He looking at all. I told you. Did I tell you? I say I'm he gonna to floss to for a good man. six months to a year you with that gonna thing. You not nobody like me. I told you. you gonna Hold on. <laughs> where where A-Rod from? Dominican Republic or something like that. Okay. <laughs> Once again, this is the show. We ain't got all the facts, <laughs> allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Yo, let's uh, talk some more. Oh, no, hold on. Let me shout out. Uh, Keep going. You got the young boy on um, this Grand Rapper shit right here. Uh, what's his name? Let me not get him right. Chris McCoy. He doing free haircuts okay. at uh, Heartside Park. Oh, by you know the time I mean? this, this air, he ain't going to be doing yeah, no free doing them at, at nine, at, from nine to three. He And he doing them for two more weeks, I want to say. Okay. Two, three more weeks. You know, and uh, he got a... Uh, Where at? At Heartside, Heartside Park? Side. Yep, Heartside Park. What time? From nine to three. Okay. Chris McCoy, young man. Shout man, out, you know Chris. I mean? Shout out, Chris McCoy. Yeah. Man, I know all the little uh He homeless. started a... Uh, yeah, he... he I, um, he was on the news. He started a non-profit. Man, clean the Clippers. <laughs> he started a non-profit, man, called the Rebirth, man, to, su- <laughs> to support his work, man. This dude, man. 
Yeah, but go well, fuck with the boy. Yeah, go That's fuck with the boy, man. I just be, hey. I just be your boy. Yeah, so shout, shout out, man, Chris McCoy. Yeah, that's man. real dope, man. You doing some for the people, man. No, yeah. no mind, man. Bro, say be... clean them clippers, man. He got his shit, man. You're not lying, though. Hey, he got his shit. He got his shit together. He got his equipment. Yeah, he don't man. have that blue disinfectant. Keep shit. all that right. shit. The boy in the hot water. I steam. seen that shit on the news. I got back on our news because uh, we got people be wanting to hear oh, yeah, that shit. Oh yeah, they be shit. wanting to hear that news, man. Y'all you don't know, want me to get started. Be the missing that we be watching. It was bodies and all type of shit found in the car. All type that, of that's shit. Bro that's bro info, but that's bro news. It's real. <laughs> it's real. I that's you bro. You <laughs> want y'all to know what's going on out there? Don't get caught. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's talk some more uh, hip hop shit, man. With you, man. Rap uh, for a stack, man. Yeah. How you started that? What it's about? Um, <laughs> Do you plan on continuing this? Yeah, these niggas? yeah. I, I started a long time ago. Uh, back with that uh, that Louis Bar opportunity. Yep. That's where I started it at over there. Um, it's a yeah showcase competition for those who are not familiar. I get pretty much sixteen artists together, sweet sixteen bracket. It's more of a song showcase. Uh, but it does get real battle like they not like freestyling and dissing each other. But you do he, you do do a lot better when you talking that aggressive talk your shit shit. Um, but yeah, I started it back then and I took it down to Texas. Uh, we took it all over. I, I've been in Detroit with it, uh, Louisville, Cincinnati, Austin. Oh, you you out here with it. Uh, yeah, we was doing it for a while. Then when I went down to Texas, I linked up with my mans down there, and we were trying to put together a tour for it. Because um, I said, I don't want to just keep going sporadically to these mm -hmm. places. Let's get organized with our shit. Let's really double up, and let's really like make a whole tour run. Yeah. Um, and then COVID hit. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, that brought me back home, and that kind of just, you know, subsided some shit for a little bit. Then I told myself, I don't really want to do it again until I get that tour set yeah. up. Uh, but then... Uh, what a couple months ago, I said, "Fuck it, let's let's do one for Grand Rapids' sake." One time, it had been a handful of years since we did it. The scene was moving, uh, especially off the Push the City site yeah, first. Shout yeah, out to yeah, them yeah. folk again. Yeah, and I was like, "Yeah, they they acting like they want it, and that's mm -hmm. that's me. I like to reward hard work and, and content and people who put in work. So, work. It, it, as a whole, uh, Grand Rapids, the the rap scene seemed like they was ready for another rap for a stack. So I said, "Okay, let me go in my bag and." We popped it off at Turnstiles. I did a little different. I doubled it up. The venue was too small mm -hmm. uh, yeah. for a traditional rapper stack. I like that at least have a venue at least like three, four hundred people mm -hmm. uh, capacity minimum, uh, especially if I ain't been around for a while. So I knew it was going to blast off. But I had my mans at Turnstiles. Uh, I know the GM over there, he's a good friend of mine, artist as well. Uh, shout out Scotty Voodoo. Mm -hmm. um, make sure you pop up at Turnstiles. So if you an artist, yeah, Turnstiles been popping lately. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Well, my man's took over, and that's like my man's man. Like he, <clears throat> my next door neighbor at the age of like three type of shit. So mm -hmm. I know him very well. Um, he he moved out to Atlanta for a while, moved back, so he got a lot of experience doing that shit in a bigger mm -hmm. city. Um, but yeah, so I, I I but they I think they only hold like 175 people. So what I did is I doubled the the amount. And then I made it three Saturdays in a row. Mm. So it was like one Saturday had 16, the next Saturday had 16, and then the, the last Saturday had like a final four going at it for $2,000. Yeah. yeah, it was dope. Yeah, it was dope. Who ended up winning the money? Uh, Rook. Uh, uh, what, 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 yeah, I yeah, he done wanna, he done shit. He done got a lot of bands yeah. off me over the years, yeah. goddammit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Speak on that um, Heat the Harvest, when that, uh, Oh like yeah, food drive. Yeah, dope. yep. So uh, did it turn out nice? Yeah, it was dope. It was yeah, real okay. dope. I um, cause they it, always be saying motherfuckers don't support shit at the city, but then I see certain people events and that shit be off the chain. Absolutely. They look like damn, where are all these people uh, man, come the from? The city be be thirsting for something. And something that's what I'm saying. And people, that's the thing is, you gotta be. You just gotta you, throw you gotta the right wanna, shit. You gotta want to be involved in shit. Like yeah. even me, I keep my ear to the shit, and I'm you know I get a lot of shit that come my way, but I still go on the book. And look to see what events is coming up. I still go to the local promoters that I know that's doing shit, whether it be uh, Silas Black, you know, and all them. Yep, yep, and yep. I, I, I peruse they motherfucking page and see what they got going on because I want to know. Even mm -hmm. if I can't attend, I still want to know yep. what's going on. Yeah. You know what I mean? So 
I think I feel like a lot of times the people that be like, oh, it's nothing to do or there's nothing popping off, it's because you literally just sitting at home scrolling through bullshit. Like you don't have no real intent to like, all right, I know I got Saturday off or I know I can go out here. Let me go see what's going on. Let me go mm-hmm. investigate, put a little effort, and you find a lot of shit. Grand Rapids has a lot of shit going on. Yeah. Yeah. I say that shit all the time. <clears throat> yeah. But that drive was dope. It was dope. It was, it was, dope. It was a plant. It was a show that we had. Uh, like I said, my man, he the GM there. He an artist. A lot of people so, came and gave out food yeah. and shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, y'all yep. say it was like non perishable items, yep. canned yep. goods, normal food, dry yeah. shit. So we had yep. a lot of shit going on, and then we took a percentage of the profits and and donated mm-hmm. it to a. Uh, I think it's called like uh, Br- Brooklyn's Girls or Brooklyn's Family, or some some local mm-hmm. uh, profit organization that does shit. Um, so my my sister actually she works in. Uh, like like CPS and child child services type mm-hmm. things. So she tapped in with a lot of families that have needs and stuff like that. So we turned to her. She had a recommendation and who to donate the money to and who could really really use it. You know, from the ground the ground zero type shit. So That's yeah, Ill. yeah, it was dope. I say, uh, you know, we was talking like social media influence and just people doing shit on social media. I seen you got a YouTube. You got over thirteen hundred subscribers. You got oh, do I? You, hey, you ain't even paid no attention. I was about to say you ain't uh, put no more interest or no um, focus on growing your YouTube. I need channel. to. I need to. But you know I, you mean? know, I be lacking at, at some things. That <clears throat> at some point in my career, I decided, you know, I'm gonna because because I came out heavy like that. I was the Mister Marketer, Mister Analytics, Mister Everything. Got to be like this. Rollout dates, red mm-hmm. carpet, yada, and that's good. But then a lot of this shit, like you said, a lot of the viral shit started popping off all the time. This mm-hmm. and that, and and one, motherfuckers don't want to be told what they should be doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So so I was getting a lot of like hate because I was genuinely trying to help motherfuckers, motherfuckers but they don't, they don't want to hear that. You know what I mean? No, so it got to a point. Shit. It got to a point where it was like a median of like, why am I trying to tell shit to motherfuckers that don't want to hear shit? Mm-hmm. And also. It's some random shit pop off nowadays, so I can't even really tell nobody how to get it because you could get it anyway, yeah. any any possible way. Cause I can't tell you you should do it this way or you should do it that way because motherfuckers is blowing up and making shit happen off a of random shit. So, so not random, yeah, random yeah, shit. Yeah, like so, ain't no real formula to this shit. There's there's things you should hold yourself accountable for and a standard you should hold. Mm-hmm. But as far as what's gonna get you on, what's gonna get you to the next level. Who knows? The only thing I can tell you is hard work and consistency. Yeah. You know I mean? All that shit you yeah. doing with the uh you know, rap for a stack all the events you did, you know, man, put some compilations together, yeah. throw that shit on your YouTube. Yeah, I got a, I got a know? question for you. Out of all the things you've been a part of to you, yep. what what stands out the most to you? What was the biggest event you've been a part Damn, of? Damn, that's crazy. I got that same uh-huh. question. Oh yeah, yeah. You know we brothers. Okay. It's almost like y'all y'all got a chemistry. It's almost yeah, like y'all do crazy. this every week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was yeah, coming yeah. up, sure. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Yeah. Um, I, I would say the biggest thing that stuck out to me is I, I used to do the party in the parks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember yeah, them yeah, joints. I remember the them Fifth third ballparks. Mm-hmm. And it's actually a funny story because we started. I used to be for one hundred four point five, mm. and. Like, cause they weren't playing no. Um, it started really because I know y'all like a little drama on here, so I'm gonna give you some old school drama. Yeah, cause all beef. these motherfuckers done retired or went on to other businesses, but I, I started beefing with one on four point five early in my career because they had party in the park probably I think for a couple of years, and I had got my shit together where I was like, all right, it's my turn. You know, I got my you know my my numbers up. I got my brand out here. I'm doing the things I need to. I went through the loops to submit, you know, hit up who was the director of this and la la la. I had a manager probably one year in my whole, what, 15 year career. I had a manager who was like a homie of mine and he was doing the thing for the first time. And so I I had a manager representative email, like all the things, professional shit you're supposed to do. And they had got back to me and they said, um, they said, uh, well, we're not, we're not doing local openers this year. And it wasn't even the fact that I couldn't do it. It was the fact that they didn't allow nobody nobody to do it. They had no local representation. So mm-hmm. I'm like, that's bullshit. You basically saying that you don't need no local artists. You don't need no local. And I said, like, that's bullshit. So my manager, he had relationships with like the big uh, 
the big funders and like the curators of Party mm -hmm. in the Park. Yeah. And, and so he reached out to him and basically, <clears throat> long story short, we went over old boy's head at, at 104.5 and he got an email one day and said, hey, I need you to find 15 minutes for AJ Stacks to come and, and open up for this event, la la la. And he ain't like that shit. So, no, so he, yeah, yeah, so he had some type of way. And then he tried to, you know, some other shit popped up. He tried to tell me, oh, we gonna blacklist you from the radio station. I'm like, y'all don't even play me. <laughs> How you gonna blacklist some? Mm -hmm. What you mean blacklist me? You don't play me in the first. How you gonna take away something you never gave me in the first place? So we did that, but we sorted it out, and and I started doing party in the parks, um, pretty much every year for the next like five six years. And the way the radio was working, because you know radio starting to, was starting to fall off with the, with the streaming and mm -hmm. all the stuff, and and so they would get a new program director every like two years. So I would have the DJs even when I was I was blacklisted when they have holidays, they would bring in uh, DJs just to play their shit because because they, they had the day off they had the weekend off during holidays, and so they would, what they do is they get the DJs in there and they play the mixes. So I'd be cool with the DJs. And they sneak my songs into the mixes. So I'd be played on a radio station even though I was blacklisted mm -hmm. because they're not paying no attention anyways. Um, and so we, so that same DJ, they would have a, um, they would have a, a new program director come in and he'd tap me in right away. He'd be like, yo, old boy from Seattle, he's the new program director at 104.5. I, I brought your name up to him. I want you to, you know, holler at him. Here's yeah. his email, this and that. And I get, so he'd be new to the city and mm -hmm. I, I'd be the first one to tap in and be like, yo, I'm AJ Stacks, this is my, this my press kit. I did party in the park the last two years. I'd love to do the next one. So I already had the up, you know, the info, yeah. the first one up. And there was one that had Flow Rider. Uh they had what's the name? Salento. That that's when that whip and yeah, Nene yeah, song was out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had um and then Tech Nine was the mm -hmm. big independent artist doing the headline in Tech Nine still doing yeah, this thing. Yeah. Get money and shit. And, and um they had me open up, so I opened up for it. I did mm -hmm. my thing. And then, you know, I'm chilling, I'm chilling there, whatnot. And afterwards watching all the artists, and then I guess Flo Rider had missed his flight. Mm -hmm. He didn't come in, they didn't tell nobody right away. And I'm chilling on the side, you know, in back in the backstage, just out on the baseball field. So it ain't like yeah, back backstage. Just behind but it's, the yeah, behind everything. And <laughs> I feel my phone vibrate, which was crazy because they got the bass going on. I don't even know how. It was almost, you know, divine intervention type shit. Cause I don't pay attention to my shit anyway. But I happen to look at my phone and I see the program, oh boy. Uh, calling me. I'm like, what the fuck? I answer. He's like, yo, you still here? I'm like, of course. He said, don't tell nobody, but uh, Flow Ride is a no show. Mm. We need you to go back on. Mm. I said, I said, bet. <laughs> let's go. Yeah. He, he said, he said, all right. Cue you the music. Go? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I said, I said, I said, I said, up, I said, give me 15 minutes. My man gonna run up to the green room. They had it in mm. like the suites up in the ballpark. Yeah, I said, yeah. he gonna grab my flash drive. Give me 15 minutes. We'll be ready to go. And mm -hmm. sure enough, so I ended up being able to headline that. It was like eleven o'clock at night. The lights was all on. Yeah, gotta dark. be ready for your moment, people man. In there. That's dope. And we was ready for it. I came out with the Grand Rapids flag, and Ooh. and it was crazy because when you get to that those type of level of shows, the production management be so on point. Yeah. So I I had performed my first set, and they give me fifteen minutes, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And and I'm structured, so my set was. Probably 14 minutes, mm -hmm. but they was they started me a little late. And yeah. so by the time my last song, you know, you an artist, your last song gonna be your banger. Mm -hmm. But since they started me late, I didn't even get to perform my last song. And they was on some local bullshit. They was talking about I was on the side, I was giving my man some shine. So he was actually up performing. Mm -hmm. I was sitting on the side of the stage waiting for that song to be done so I could do my big banger and, and conclude my shit. And the production matter said, it's the last song. After this, you're done. I'm hard. like, hold on, I got one more song. I got my shit. He said, nope, this is it. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm, I'm cutting your mic off. This is it. I said, so I was already pissed off. I, it. Yeah. I was mad, got over it. But then later that night, they said, we need you to come back on. So, of course, my first song mm -hmm. I came back on to was save the, the day was the banger that yeah, we didn't get to hear. Yeah. So, it, it, it Shout it out one more 4.5. Yeah. They still doing yeah. their yeah. thing? I don't even listen I to think. them. The you only know, other five, yeah, I want to say, still, yeah. I, I mean, they, they what's the yeah. other radio station? One hundred four point nine, Magic, yeah, yeah Magic. Shout out to Magic. Le 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 yeah, shout yeah, out Lisa shout B. Out Lisa B. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, yo, yeah. man, Ira, you still fuck with the music? Of course. Yeah, you went. What's your oh, yeah. next project coming out? And shit? Um, 
I got a song coming out, a little single coming out. It's called Watch. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, it's a little little story for that. Uh, I won't get too into it. Y'all gonna have to bring me back for that one. Yeah, but, we're gonna have to bring you back because yeah, we're about to have one. to get up out of here. We about to wrap it up. It got to do with, with with the police watching your boy and mm. some serious type shit. So we gonna drop that. Y'all check that out. And if you got questions, come holler. Yeah, for Ooh. sure, for sure. Yeah. You hit him with the five questions before we get up out okay. of here. Okay. All right. If you're from Grand Rapids or born and raised in Grand Rapids, give me five things you should know about the city. Um, you know, it could be people, places, streets, parks, yeah. anything. Yeah. Um, that's a good question. I'm what they call a brick street hooligan. Five. Like to think, mm -hmm. From East Town. Mm -hmm. so, that's cool. Just give me so, five of so them. We I don't know. I, I would say definitely tap into that yesterday. Because yeah. it's getting gentrified over there. Yeah. yeah. I made, a, I made yeah. some status or something about it the Dog, other day. I said, some wings <laughs> at, at uh, Hancock is like $75, bro. Man. <laughs> Knowing damn what was going on, so we had Sam seventy five back in the day. Seventy five, that one. Man. But yeah, go ahead, Brick Street. But, but yeah, so with Brick Street, I make sure you tap about. in yesterday, dog, because I feel like that's yesterday, one of the yesterday, that's yesterday. one of the last OG spots over there for real holding it down. Yesterday, like it used to you know be. what I mean? That's mm -hmm. what my boy Floyd be coming every time no he matter, come here. Yeah. That's one. Yep. Mm -hmm. And no matter how you feel about them hot dogs, it's not about the taste of the hot dogs. It's, it's not about, about, the, it's about the tradition and the history. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Go carve your name in some one of their furniture or something. Stake your mark, whatever you can do if you can find space, but just mm -hmm. respect the space. And they only take cash, so don't go in there looking like a newbie trying to pay with your card. Card, you're going to look crazy. Shit. Some yeah, Apple gonna... Pay dumbass right. shit, man. Yeah. What? No. I'll be coming in there, uh, guess the dog with that. So yeah, that's, that's my shit. Cash. Um, Mm -hmm. FOMO. Oh, FOMO. What do we got? Um, I already mentioned it. Now, now, so we did some history shit. We're going to do some new shit. Make sure you tap in over at Turnstiles. Yep, Turnstiles. Turnstiles. Like I said, my man's is over there running shit. So yeah, on the west side, it's over they by Holiday right Bar. Now. I'm sure you heard of that. Yeah, yeah um, they pop. But you go find it, Turnstiles. Uh, I don't know if they have it on the menu anymore, but I had a little couple weeks special. You could get the Ajax Pepper Stack Burger. Ajax mm -hmm. pepper, pepper stack. stack, you know what burger. I mean? It's exactly Ooh. outside jalapeno peppers, that's yeah. pepper like bacon, yeah. Yeah. pepper jack, pepper jack, jack cheese. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't think they got on the menu no more. But if you go in there and say that, they gonna know what to make. They yeah. gonna whip it up. Yo, let Give me, me get one that of Ajax them. No onions. Onion. Yes. Yeah, no onions. You understand? <laughs> no onions. Uh, facts. No onions. Okay, that's that's two. two. That's two. Um, I'm gonna bring. I, so I came up from over here. Run away. I was yeah. I was born off of, uh like I said, East Town area mm -hmm. at Athlone and Logan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, yeah. my pops got us up out a little bit and moved a couple blocks that way mm -hmm. to a little bit closer to East Grand Rapids down yeah, down way. Franklin. So, uh, but we used to go to King Park all the motherfucking time. King yeah. Park. So King if you go Park. to King Park, the hoop, make sure you can really get it in. King, King goes down Park. Right it goes so down. Sure you pull now up. It goes out. Crazy King events Park. that happen at King you. Park. And they still do. They do hip hop fest over there. Legendary. Shout out monks. Shout yeah, out King all that Park shit. King Park legendary. That's so, three. Absolutely. They That's tore the three. shit uh, down up at King Park. Mm -hmm. What you call? Uh, remodeling up there right now at King. Speaking of King Park. Uh, I'm just gonna do another statement that's gonna be Grand Rapids. Y'all need to put some more respect on my boy Floyd Mayweather's name. Man, yeah, that is boxing awesome. over there. Floyd Mayweather, Hispanic, yeah, man. So y'all be going used to go against him every single time. Yeah, the Cinco de man, Mayo shit going. Habla español también. I understand, yeah. but. It's that supposed to be your local shit, man. Fact. My man's yeah, way see, too I'm much a, hate, bro. Make me feel good, way man. Too I'm much the only one saying Floyd. Way too much That's a fact, I don't man. care about his person. Everybody got shit give in their closet. I get it. Company. We talk about the sports. We talk about the business. We talk about the legend. Man, we're going to have to have you yeah. back because we I couldn't go. That's all day. I talk yeah. about That's this shit. That's only fault. I'm talking about this shit. Yeah. You got one more. I got one more. I'm going to do my own shit. Yeah. Cause I'm, you see me repping this shit. You yeah. see the leave everything, move to Grand Rapids, stack yeah. rappers. Mm -hmm. You heard of We Are GR. Your boy started mm -hmm. that. You heard of Love GR. Your boy started that. Mm -hmm. yes. You heard of Love Where You Live. Grand Rapids, stop taking. And this ain't for nobody probably listening to this shit. It's for the corporate and the big wigs. We gonna mm -hmm. send us to that shit. Stop jacking this shit. Mm -hmm. If y'all see us doing some shit, we on the, we in the streets. We in the culture. We the real Grand Give Rapids. We props. coming up with good ideas. What's the name? Bring reach, us reach in. out to us. What's the na What's your name? What's the name of your joint? It's all of it. It's We Are GR. We yeah. Are GR. You know, because the, the public that. schools are using that That's, now, which is yeah. fine. They're using all the newsletters. I remember when they took it yeah. and, and, and yeah. they started making That's the shirts fine. and shit, we, but we the did, niggas yeah. in the hood yeah. had the shirt first. We That's a great vibe. We did, we did Love GR, yeah. and they literally sent us a cease and desist to Saying stop, that to they stop doing it. it. No, they never had it. They just oh. did it because we redid the logo. This was before Cats, like Willie and my mans and all them was allowed to use the logo. 
they shut our shit down, say you're not allowed to use nothing that resemble the Grand the, Rapids shit. logo. The, you know what I mean? The and so they shut. They, I think he probably got a cease and desist too at first, and then probably did the right paperwork and got it together. But before all that shit was was generated with the GR yeah, USA, can't use that them, logo. They 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 sent us a cease and desist, and now you see that statue that they have downtown. With the love thing, mm-hmm. yeah. using the same colors, and they put up the little hashtag sign that says hashtag mm-hmm. love GR yeah, and all yeah, that yeah. shit. And I'm and, and so just in a nutshell, stop taking our shit, tap in with us. We got plenty more where that came from. Yeah, man. We can all get it all in. All you big wigs, yeah. man, That's reach out to the hood, man. man that, we that was we, a we appreciate process. you for coming course, in, man. man. Appreciate, appreciate you coming through, me. stopping through. We yeah. wish we had more time. Y'all yeah. know this the platform for the city. If we had more time, that Patron kicked in, we yeah. just got to, you, you know what I'm saying? I got to talking my shit. <laughs> yeah, I got to rambling off topic, too. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't get to my news. All yeah. Yo. I'll be back. Get that book, man. You know, you know what I'm saying? Get, get the book, you know what I mean? My Life, Tish. Y'all go support my sis, you know what I mean? I usually have her posted up on the table, but you know, we... we yeah, we're going to we get, get y'all the link for it so y'all We've been go. drinking, we, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Get y'all the link, but uh, go out and get it. Go out and find it. It's easy. Just do your Googles, man. It's easy to find anything now. Just Google. Tap it in. Search it in. Yo. This is the platform for the city, for the state. We're trying to bring everybody together, but we can't do it without your help, without your support. We appreciate everybody who do tune in and tap into the show, man, because there's more people tuning in, tapping in. Our subscribers going up little little by uh, little, but yeah, they're going we work, up. We're we working. working. So, you we know working. what I'm saying? More people reaching out to the show. I'm about to throw that giveaway. More people commenting on the show. So, you know, everywhere we go, they talking about the show. So, we love it. We love the support. We know Grand Rapids supporters, but we need just a little bit more reach out there. So, you know, y'all just like, share, subscribe, get this shit out there. Street Soldier Saturday is the platform for the city, for the state. Anything you doing, business, entrepreneur, YouTube, any of that shit, man. Whatever you got going on, rapper, singer, dancer, actor, whatever you got, come through the Street Soldiers and make sure you pop your shit, man. Y'all know what it is. Head DiBiase extraordinaire over there, man. OG Ozilla. Yeah, Zilla. Hey, Jack yeah. Stacks came through the uh, guest host with us, man. We out of here. Street Soldier Saturdays. Let me bring it back 2013. On the porch, on rocks at Gold Fiends. Hot box in the crib. You remember where we lived? Cause you used to be girl like protein. Dealing with dead.